What's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm, and now that I'm outside and I'm doing one of these videos, I can see that some of the gray is showing up in the beard, but not very much. I overcame it mentally. I willed it away. Not really. Anyway, so what I'm shooting this for is because I realized that I uh, uploaded and shared the wrong video of the, the dowel front rays that I saw on Smitty's YouTube, uh, Instagram. So I, I also have a video where I combine, um, this, these talking points with the video and in the talking points, I explain what's going on. So I'm just going to get rid of that video and I'll, I'll do the explaining right now. I know it's not perfectly optimal, but that's what I'll do. Um, so basically, <clears throat> It's a way to rack up lots of time under tension for the deltoids because when you do a deltoid exercise, anything with free weights, you have the opportunity for um, momentary rest and loss of tension in the muscles. So with the dowel on your wrists and in the seated position, there's a point where the dowel will hit your legs. So if you keep on going down in the eccentric, what you're gonna do is gradually uh, have less and less tension on the muscles. So what the dowel does is it makes you change directions a little bit earlier than what you normally would. So it's not a full range movement. It's slightly less than full range and you don't get that momentarily lapse in tension. So then you pick it up <clears throat> and in front of you, if the dowel moves then you you're you're going to a point where you are reducing the amount of tension as well so you don't want the dowel to move at all that's the objective um, you see in the video that I posted that the dowel does indeed move and the reason is because it's the first day I ever tried the exercise so what I will do is continue to practice the movement and the dowel will move less and less until it doesn't move at all and then that will be my indicator to go up and wait. So I, that was 25s in the original video I posted. And when I can hit 10 to 12 reps without the dowel moving, I will have considered that to be mastery of that weight. And then I'll start increasing weight and go for the same number of repetitions with the goal being that the dowel doesn't move. Um, my deltoids were pretty, you know, they, they, I had some soreness in them. It wasn't like ridiculous soreness or anything like that, but I definitely felt a little bit more soreness than I normally would when I'm doing a, a dowel or a, a front raise exercise. So I was happy with that. To me, that tells me it's a winner. Um, a little bit soreness, uh, but nothing crazy. Definitely nothing pinchy, nothing grindy, or anything like that that would lead me to believe that it was risky for the for the joint or any of the any of the tissues in there which in my case some things do cause those pinches and grinds so I avoid those movement patterns I think another cool thing about this is that you have to slightly abduct the arms so you're separating the arms and it changes the angle a little bit so it's so that's cool as well because normally when I do front raises I have my arms uh, much closer together I do this thing that I call a pistol whip which is a front dumbbell raise um, but it's like I'm aiming a pistol forwards and normally it's right straight out from my body this this angle was a little bit different a little bit wider and that was cool too so a little bit of uh, variation in that regard as well so I hope this has been helpful in explaining the exercise sorry that i didn't combine or uh didn't upload the the right video where the the videos were combined so it made a little more sense because i see a, a couple people have asked and emailed me back and stuff like that wondering what the hell is going on all right all the best in your training everybody if you like to give me one of these would you huh brother huh brother and as well you can subscribe any other questions leave them in the comments section below check out the description box for training resources and other things and uh be sure to share this with your friends who need to work on their delts all the best in your training take care